One time in my life I felt that. What was my purpose? And sometimes you graduate out of high school, you look for that job, you look for that career, college, the degree, you still question, is this my purpose? Well, I want to tell you, until you find the center of your being, you will continue to walk and live. Going through the motions. You got to get through bad feelings. You got to get through, um, you got to get through failure. It's very important. And you get through it by just picking yourself back up and moving forward and going. But it's hard for a lot of people because they, that sting, they never get over it. The, the feeling of failure. So when you have a messed up foundation, I started lying about everything. I wanted people to like me. I wanted to be accepted in some society of life, some social society. And I, and I, I was like, man, this isn't the right way. I messed up here, I messed up here, I messed up everywhere. And so I realized the worst thing that happened to me is I lost myself. I never had myself, I never found myself. I had no self-esteem. So I knew through working out and through learning, because it, it took a lot for me to learn also, I started finding self-esteem. Once I found that, that's when doors started opening up. I, started, I stopped caring about people. And growing up, I didn't feel heard really. I didn't feel like people heard me. And um, and throughout my life, it's it's always felt like when I try to say something, people just want to want to argue with me that if I did everything right that my father would stay alive that's what I thought for some reason as a kid I you know nobody explained to me what was going on or how things worked or that that was getting you know I just knew my dad was older and that he was not going to be alive for a long time and as a child I thought maybe if I'm perfect if I'm perfect you know that my life would be different and more specifically that my dad would stay alive. I thought that. I don't know how I came up with that or what made me think that as a kid. But at least then it gave me some control over what ha or what was gonna happen. There's always somebody out there that would be happy to tra trade places with you. So it doesn't matter what you're moping about, what you think you're, you know, you've know, you got pain in, whatever it is it might be, you know, making your day, your week, your month, your year, shit. I had did something that I wasn't supposed to do and she got highly upset, right? She blocked me, you know what I'm saying? And, and about and, and about a week and a half, two weeks went go by. We not talking, and I ain't gonna lie, child. I ain't gonna lie, fellas. I was a little, I was a little, you know what I'm saying? I was a little hurt. Hello. Hello, mom. Yeah. I just got a five thousand dollar donation on my stream. What? I just got a $5,000 donation on my live stream. Somebody gave me $5,000. I can get a car now. That's nice. I know. Very Are you proud of me? Are you happy that I, I that I didn't go to college? I don't care. Goodbye. I think she was just a little bit stressed out, guys. D-A-V-Y underscore W-A-V-Y with the 10 said ending it all. So I figured I'd give my favorite streamer my last 10. Hope it all goes well in the future. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please find somebody. Reach out to somebody right now. Talk to them. Please talk to somebody. There are better alternatives than that. You can do anything that you want to do. As I've told you before, I lived in the back of an old car. I taught myself to read and write. So if you're young, don't give up. Don't say the world is just against me. That's not true. But if you're with yourself and yourself is always beating you up, you're not going to want to be with yourself. If I'm sitting out here by myself in the evening, 
by a fire, cup of coffee and a cigar, and I'm constantly beating myself up over my failures in the past, I'm not someone that I want to be alone with. Because life is very, very challenging for a man. They expect us to be leaders. And when I say they, I'm talking about God created a man for to be a leader, to be a fighter. And I think we're all good at something. We're all good at something, really good. Uh, and I think if you're really still, if you make yourself really still and quiet, which is hard to do in this day and age of social media, okay, Facebook and Instagram, but if you're really still and quiet, if you can be quiet for a half hour without like meditation, you know, you sort of the answers will come. You know what to do. Sometimes in life you're going to start slow. That's okay. We, we, we told ourselves, hey, we're going to start slow. We're going to keep going fast. We're going to start slow, but we're always, always going to finish fast. No matter what the score was, we're going to finish hard. We're going to finish fast. Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not going to lie. They had us. We weren't defeated, but they had us. But it took guts. It took an attitude. That's all it takes. That's all it takes to be successful is an attitude. And that's what our coach told us. He said, he said, hey, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. You're going to go out there. You're going to battle. You're going to fight. You're going to do it for one. You're going to do it for one another. Do it for each other. You're going to do it for yourself. You're going to do it for us. And you're going to go out with this win. It's a perseverance. Meaning it's not about the dog that's in the fight. It's the fight within the dog. Being average, being mediocre is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up because you've seen people with far less talent than you as you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else. They didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't have support anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it better than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. Believe me, the more you put into anything, the more you're going to get out. The longer you train, the more you eat, the more you sleep, the better results you're going to get. If I'm eating 12 meals a day, I'm training 3 hours a day, and I'm sleeping 10 hours a day, I'm going to get better fucking results than the guy that's training an hour a day, eating six meals a day, and sleeping six hours a day. It doesn't take a fucking scientist to fucking logically understand what I'm saying. The more you put in, the more you get out. So stop fucking making excuses. Get out there and do whatever the fuck it takes to reach your fucking goals. We had no we had no followers, we had no subscribers, and now we have more than 120,000 followers on Instagram and TikTok combined. Y'all can check that out, or, uh, I'll check out our accounts in the description, but we didn't have shit, and we put in the work every single day, and it, we love it like we used to love video games, because we, we used to play video games all the fucking time. And right now, we love making videos for you guys like we used to love playing video games. And it, it's just a... Knowing that we're getting better and better every single day and we're helping men out like you guys, it just makes us happy. So we appreciate y'all and that's why we give you guys this information so you guys can take it and you guys can actually do something with it. We're not trying to bash you down. I swear we're not. We were, we were just like you guys. 